topic about image segmentation. Today we will talk about region-based segmentation and region growing, region splitting and merging. Uh, segmentation by morphological, uh, some basic concept, some dam construction, simple example, and then a uh, watershed segmentation algorithm. We will talk as the theoretical part. These are the, the all today uh, lectures uh, topic that uh, we will uh, um, follow. Um, let us see what is region-based segmentation. If uh, we know R as the um, um, representing the entire region of image that we have, we may view the segmentation as the process that partition or into N region. You know, segmentation is something like cutting. Then we can have the relation uh, with the R1 to Rn from the mathematical point of view. Um, and uh, this um, A to E relation we should, uh, we may have. Let us analyze what is this uh, condition or we, what is this uh, relation description that we can have. In condition A, it's indicate that the segmentation must be complete. That is, every pixel must be in the region. Then one of the criteria in this is that all the region should be included inside our segmentation part. With the condition B, we require the points in the region must be connected in some predefined sense. Then your point should be connected. And in condition C, we indicate that the region must be disjoint. Condition D talk with us that or deals with the properties that must be satisfied by the pixel in the segmented region. For example, if we you know PRI is equal to true, if all pixels in RI have the same gray level. With the condition E, it's indicate that the region RI and RJ are different in the sense of predicate P. Uh, these are the condition that we should have in the region base and then as the region growing, which is the procedure that grows the pixel or sub region into the larger region based on predefined criteria. Uh, the basic approach is uh, to start with the set of seed point and uh, from this grow region by appending to each seed to a neighboring pixel that uh, name uh, property similar to the seed, such as a specified range of gray level or uh, color level. Then selecting the set of the ones, uh, one or more a starting point, it's depend on the problem under the consideration. Uh, the selection of similarity criteria uh, depend um, not only the problem under the consideration, but also on the type of the image which uh, is available. Uh, growing pixel to form a region base under similarity must result in this joint region and uh, to prevent this attention uh, must be paid to the connectivity of the pixel while growing them. Uh, in addition to the criteria such as gray level, texture, color, that uh, are local in nature, the criteria such as size of the growth, likeness of the candidate pixel to the pixel grown, so far uh, must also be considered to formulate a proper stopping uh, rule. Uh, one more uh, part that we can have, this is the uh, region splitting and merging. 
uh, which we know it as an alternative approach to the region growing to subdivided an image, uh, which is initially into the set of the arbitrary and disjointed uh, region, and then merge and or, or split the region in attempt to satisfy again uh, these conditions. Then if we want to review again in the condition A, it's indicate that the segmentation must be complete. And that is every pixel must be in the region. In condition B, it's required that the points in the region must be uh, connected in some predefined sense. Uh, as the condition C indicate that the region must be joined, condition D deal with the properties that must be satisfied by the pixel in the segmented region. For example, PRJ is equal if all pixels in RI have the same gray level. And the condition D tells us or indicates the region RI and RJ are different in the sense of predicate P. Uh, the approach for uh, region splitting and merging is to segment the R or the region that we have to subdivide it successively in the smaller and a smaller quadrant uh, region so that for any region of RJ, PRJ can be true. If only splitting uh, were used, then the final partition likely would contain the adjacent region with identical property. Um, this drawback may be remind by allowing the merging as well as splitting. Don't forget this point. And procedure for this can be something uh, from start to entire with the process that I written here. Suppose if PR is false, it can be divide the image into the quadrant. And if P is false for any quadrant, subdivide that quadrant in, uh, into subquadrant and so on. This process result is also called quadri. You can see that suppose for region number four, First, we divide the R into four region, R1 to R4, and then R4 itself divided into four region. As I show uh, in the box um, shape on the left side of you, and on the right side, I show the three, uh, I mean the quad three methods for the Segment. They till now what we understand that in the region, we will start to make the region or divide the image um, into some part, some defined part. Um, while we are splitting the two adjacent region of RJ and RK are merged only if uh, the union between the RJ and RK is true. And when uh, no further merging or splitting is possible, the procedure will be a start. And then example of semi uh, segmentation by region splitting and merging are shown uh, in the photo. That um, maybe you will see some shadow here and then at the end, uh, you will not see it at the end um, picture. And it's, um, uh, one of the method that's here, it can detect maybe the leaf that you will see. Uh, along this method, we have uh, some method that we call it morphological uh, method. And segmentation by morphological watershed uh, is a segmentation technique which applied to the gradient of the image. 
rather than image itself using the morphological tools to extract the uniform object. The gradient uh, image uh, are also termed as a topographic uh, image. And the gradient um, operation enhance the areas of absorbed grade level change, such as edge and uh, dimensions. Uh, the smooth area, such as region of the object in the image, and leaving the edge look like a uh, crest and the object relatively smooth area as facing. The result in, uh, in the 3D uh, topography of the image, uh, uh, you can see for this method, and uh, it's applicable more there. But uh, if we uh, continue, this uh, method basically search the gradient image for the following three types of points. And three points is important for us. One is regional minima. Another one is the catchment uh, uh, basins or watershed, where drop of the water would definitely falls on the signal minimum. Uh, another point is belong to divide lines or watershed line where drop of the water uh, should more likely falls, uh, fall to, to more than uh, one minimum. The principal objective of uh, this segmentation algorithm is to find the third set of points, for example, watershed uh, finds. Now you can see one example uh, regarding this watershed, uh, watershed morphological or morphological watershed. Uh, on the left side, you will see the original, and the uh, right side, you will see the gradient image of 3D topography of the image. Now you will see the catchment basin or watershed that I uh, shown on the figure. The regional minima you can see there, and then um, some uh, watershed line which divide. Uh, again, I mentioned in this photo, which shows the morphological uh, watersheds ability. Here, even uh, we can uh, see the graph which shows the black, white, and minima of our uh, image. And here uh, we shows the watershed, attachment missing, and water lines as the level. You will see that one-dimensional cross-segmentation of minimum attachment missing, watersheds, and dam in this uh, image. Um, the basic principle of watershed segmentation is uh, as follows. It has the holes are uh, priced in the all region minimums. Then topography is fluted gradually with uh, water through these holes at constant rate. And you know that as the water level continues to rise, it will start to overflow one catchment basin to another. And finally, dams are built uh, to prevent the water in different catchment basins from merging. These dams are watershed lines, which are uh, desired boundaries for segmentation process. Uh, and uh, these watershed lines from the connected paths. Uh, in order to um, prevent the smaller, uh, to prevent the water from uh, spilling out through the edge of the structure, the height of the dam must be greater than the height possible uh, mountain 
which is determined by the highest possibility gray level value in the image. Again, we will see the original image, the photographic view, and last two are the two uh, state of the fluting. Which Now you will see the change between the first image and the last target, which done by the segmentation um, and morphological watershed method. Uh, again, if we continue the flooding, means that further flooding, you will see in the A and the B is water merging from two basins, a short dam being built between them, then longer dams being built and finer watershed or segmentation line will come to picture. Now, here they can specify some, some object or give more meaning to one part of the image uh, that we show. Uh, this is uh, one example that, uh, this is one uh, example of uh, this method. If uh, you carefully see, then suppose some good application for this segmentation may be in the uh, medical image processing job when they want to specify one organs or one part of your body. <clears throat> Another method in uh, segmentation by morphological watershed is dam construction, uh, which is based on binary image and is constructed using the morphological uh, dilation. The basic of how to construct a dam are shown in uh, figure that we have. In figure A, it shows the portion of two catchment basin at floating stage of N minus one. And in figure B, shows the result of the flowing state, N. Then there are two connected uh, components in figure uh, A where uh, there is only one connected component in figure B, as we shown in the uh, picture that you can see. This single connected uh, components in figure B uh, a uh, um, in, uh, encompasses the two connected uh, components in figure A, which is shown in a dash line. Here, see the two. Uh, partially fluted uh, catchment uh, basing at the stage A minus one. And in figure B, it shows the fluting state N showing the merging of the water from two basins. Uh, if uh, we want to continue more, see that we have one matrix as the C or structuring elements here. And then uh, first uh, dilation and second dilation and dam points are shown here. See the dam points it uh, between the two shapes in figure D and result of the dilation and dam construction is uh, shown here as you can see them. Uh, the fact uh, that two connected com uh, components they become a single connected components indicate that the water from two catchments began has emerged as polluting a step N. Then uh, in this, let us have some step. Suppose in the first step, MI and M2, we set up the coordinates of the point in two regional minima, uh, Cn minus N and Cn minus N M2 
uh, be the set of coordinates of points in catchment basin associated with uh, those two regional minima at uh, floating stage n minus one. C n s n minus one can be the union of these two sets uh, at floating stage n minus one and Q be the set of the coordinates of the point in single connected uh, components at uh, floating stage n. And again, if you uh, please have a look to the figure that we have, and then you can see the damp points uh, between uh, this uh, two image, and uh, you will see the task which uh, hand over to the uh, uh, segmentation morphological watersheds uh, and how it will do the uh, job uh, for uh, its part. Um, let us continue uh, this uh, part with that uh, the two connected components at a uh, floating stage n minus one, as you will see now dilated using the structure M uh, elements in figure C uh, with the following of two conditions. Dilation is uh, confined to Q, for example, the center of a structure element is located only at points uh, in Q and dilation is not preferred on points that would cause the sets being dilated to merge. First dilation press the expand, expands the boundaries of two connected components are shown uh, by white square uh, in figure D. Then you can see the first dilation and second dilation and the damp points which we shown in the figure D, then our picture are segmented and the job is done uh, with this uh, image. All points will uh, satisfy the condition one, but none satisfy the condition two during this pass. And during the second dilation pass, only few points satisfy the condition one, leading to the broken boundaries as shown by black square here. Some points satisfy the condition two, leading the construction of dam as shown by cross hatch uh, scores. And the dam construction is completed by setting the dam points to a gray level values higher than the highest gray level value in image. Generally one plus the highest gray level values in the image. <clears throat> then uh, some uh, more example we have uh, about this uh, morphological water save, you will see the minimum, uh, regional minimum and watershed line uh, from the image and a catchment base, which we shown here. If uh, we go further, we want to take the dam between them. We will see that the, in the steps that I passed, finally, I have the dam or different between the two parts of my image. Segmentation job is something like that you want to segment or exactly something like that you want to split or you want to segment the parts in uh, your image and now you will see at the end i have the border proper border between the line here this uh, we will have more on the matlab section part uh, that uh, we will talk uh, regarding that okay uh, now because today i don't want to talk uh, much more regarding the uh, points that we have for the first lecture that we have it's okay uh, let us do the attendance and then uh, after that again uh, we will come back to uh, 
what we will do, we will uh, have some specific uh, topics from image processing that make the concept clear for you, okay? Then, as you know, first we make the foundation of our concept, then we will go and see some specific area of this structure that we made, okay? Don't forget, but please, my advice is that please read these notes. Please read the PPTs. Please have the some summary and concept for you. Even you can search also on the nets and get uh, more clear about this subject. I already published, uh, send you the book uh, on the MOOC system. Some short note again, I will uh, I start to um, arrange for you to read them. Uh, don't miss this uh, part, okay? Then you can have the broad and clear concept regarding the uh, image processing uh, concept. Okay, any question? Roy, can we start? Okay, good. Uh, let us continue and uh, see um, the watershed segmentation algorithm. I mean, uh, the algorithm that, uh, how we can do this watershed segmentation. Um, first of all, let us uh, denote uh, J, X, and Y as the gradient of our image. Uh, for example, the gradient or uh, topographic image, uh, know it as this. And then um, we can let M1, N2, MR be the set of the coordination of the point in the original minima of J, X, Y. Um, assume or let the C, M, Y be the set of the coordination of the point in the catchment basin associated with the regional minimum MI, and let CNMI be the set of coordinates of the point fluted in the catchment basin associated with the regional minimum MI at stage N. Then, if we assume all these, CN can be the union of the fluted attachment based in the portions at a stage N. Uh, for example, the union of the set C and M I when I is equal one, uh, two, and so on. Then we can have this formula. Means that our algorithm can work based on the below formula of union of the I equal to one to R and C and M I. Um, if uh, we continue and once again see this um, parameter that I tell you, it can be the C and Y uh, with the minimum or original minimum of M2, then C M2 I can have, then catchment basin as I specified between them, C M3 and C M4, which um, and each peak, as you see, it's divide or watershed lines that can appear on your image and do the segmentation for you. This minimum also are the original minima that you have and uh, for the M2, M1, M2, M3, and M4 uh, part. Then uh, gradient function uh, showing the original minima, catchment basin and watershed line as uh, this uh, figure. And if we want to go ahead for the Q and knowing the value of the Q, which are the four connected components, Q1, Q2, and Q3, we can show them as uh, this gray uh, color on the image. Then the CN1, uh, M1, and CN1, uh, N minus one, M3, and so on, this formula can be monitored as the white, uh, gray, or uh, lighter gray uh, on the figure. Then, uh, if we go ahead uh, to show the QRQ3 as the three connected components, we can show them like these, and then the CN as the, or the watershed segmentation 
result for us can be the union between CMY, CNMY, CNM2, CNM3, uh, and so on like that as a union between them. Uh, and uh, we can see the floating, floating stage of N minus uh, N uh, plus one. Then uh, once more, if you see the algorithm that I say, or uh, again, now the algorithm, um, JX1 will donate the gradient of the image that we have, or the gradient of topographic image. M1, M2, and R will be the set of the coordination of points in the regional minimum, and CMI be the set of the coordinates points in the catchment basin associated with the regional minimum, and CNMY, MI be the set of coordination of point fluted in the catchment basin uh, associated with the regional minima MI at the stage N. Then CN be the union fluten uh, catchment basin portion with the below formula. This is the watershed uh, segmentation algorithm, which in that now we can let the TN be the set of coordination point, be the set of uh, some uh, coordination point for us, and we can show it with the uh, symbol of TN, um, oh, sorry. Oh, wait for a minute, yes. And uh, geometrically, this TN is a set of the coordination of the point in our GXY uh, below the plane, and GXY is equal to N. The term minimum, maximum represent the minimum and maximum values of GXY, and QN be the set of connected components in TN, QN, or simply uh, keywords uh, QN like that. Then uh, for this algorithm or from above this question, we can hold uh, this uh, theorem or uh, this equation, which the relation three implies that each connected component of C n minus one is connected in exactly one connected components of TN. And the floating stage is integrally uh, interconnected from N is equal minimum plus one to N maximum plus one. The algorithm begins by setting the C minus plus one equal to T minus plus one. And the set CN at, at uh, any stage, N is the, uh, recursively constructed by assuming that CN minus one has already been constructed and considering the following fact um, of the algorithm. And then, as may be brief, we can uh, assume the algorithm like this, QCNY is empty, QCN1 contains only one connected component, and our Q and C and one can take more than one connected components. Uh, condition one will occur when Q encounters a new regional minimum and hence the connected components. Q is incorporated um, into C and minus one to form of C N. And number two occurs when Q lies in the catchment basin of some regional minimum and hence the connected components, Q is incorporated uh, into C n minus one to uh, form of C n. And uh, equation three occurs when Q encounters all or part of the edge spreading two or more catchment basin, causing the water, um, from different catchment basin to merge. Now, to prevent the merging, the dam is constructed by dialing Q and C and one uh, with uh, three by three construction elements of ones and uh, confining the dilation. What I wanted that today you think and you 
No, first was the method of this regional segmentation, ability of that, and some theory behind that. More practical word, more act on the image. We can see on the um, image processing with MATLAB section that we, we will have uh, this week or uh, next Monday. Uh, and um, uh, we can uh, analyze it maybe better. Some concept, my friend, you should know, some theoretical part you should know. Then at the time of analyzing the image, it may help you to um, know it better. Okay, my job for today is finished.